For my whole career, I've used D'Addario strings. This is the one that I use live with Megadeth, and I love it. I've been with D'Addario my whole career, even when I was playing bass in Van Halen, because that's what Dad would play, D'Addario for life. And I say it right, D'Addario. I guess there's no reason in showing both of these, but uh, Ibanez made a guitar called the 1077 XL in like the OOs, and they got rid of it. And it was a guitar that had a hum, single hum, and it looked just like this same paint job and everything. Uh, it's a 27 inch scale guitar with a trim um, and they brought it back and I asked for one um, because I wanted to feel what a 27 inch scale guitar would feel like with a trim because kind of working on something with Ivan is at the moment and I wanted to see what it would be like and um, I love it and I love the way that this guitar sounds and like um, I know for most people out there you feel like you played like a prestige Ibanez and you're like yeah they're dope you know what I mean but for whatever reason these just are just out of control sick I had to get two um, but yeah I usually play half the set with this and then I grab the yellow Iceman um, okay. for any of the trim stuff and everything like that but yeah it's a, this is a basswood body guitar I had a tremolo in there I take it out because like I lose shit off this thing at my house you know what I mean like I'm gonna totally lose it out here but um <laughs> Yeah, the uh, FU Tone Springs in the back, two of them, and... Um, Do you have their uh, titanium stuff as well, or just the springs? I just got a Floyd from them um, that... Because uh, guys that guy, get into it, like Phil Collin, they, they get really serious about that, that being a difference maker. Yeah, yeah, I mean, th th there's... They have, a, they have a, a, a brass claw, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They have, like, a, pretty much everything you can upgrade about a trim FU Tone makes, but, like... Yeah, the, a lot of it isn't a direct retrofit for the Godo stuff. So you're, some of it is though. And uh, yeah, I've, I've kind of ventured into it, but I, I have an actual Floyd at home right now that's totally done up, all sick. Okay. I just had to drop it into a guitar, but yeah. Are you uh, biased or land on one side of the fence when it comes to Godo or, or Floyd Rose? Are you... I think that this low pro edge trim is about one of the best trims that you could get. The Floyd thing is just one of those, it's like, it's kind of like, you know, you can go to an auto zone right now and buy an alternator for a fucking 2008 Econoline and like you could do that any day of the week, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So there's just more Floyds in guitars and there yeah. are low pro edges so it's just easier to get upgrades for them. Um, it would be cool if Goto was just like, yo, and just like started making stuff for it. I think, I think people would buy it. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this trim um, as it is. They do make blocks and shit like that, but you can't put this, you know, clip down thing on the back mm. to hold the springs in. And that seems to be important. But um, yeah, rosewood board, maple neck, basswood body, uh, RG, 27 inches long. Shred stick, man. Yeah.